Hey guys, welcome back to another Pick a Card reading where today we will be talking about this subject of how will your future child be. You can pick more than one pile if you kind of feel that uh, you have this tendency of maybe having a few children or uh, I don't know, you just feel drawn uh, to more than one uh, of these piles. So you can pick between this hermit, handman or justice. So pick Pile 1, Pile 2 or Pile 3. Hermit, Hangman and Justice. So for those of you who chose this Hermit, how will your future child be? How will your future child be? Pile 1. How will your future child be? How will your future child be? How will they be? Child one. How will your future child be? So, pal one, what do we have here? I definitely have South Node in Cancer, uh, and this is something that I have sensed kind of right away. Uh, that your future child would be having some kind of disconnect with their emotions. Uh, King of Cups is here reversed as well, so um, I'm simply sensing a great air of intellectualism with them, however, with some kind of inevitable consequence to their emotional state of affairs. But I'm getting that this will somehow be productive for your child, so... It's almost like uh, right away from the early age they would be included in some kind of scientific workshops, etc, etc, etc. Hmm. I'm definitely also sensing with the King of Cups reversed and uh, we have some indications of mother-father issues. Your child will have bigger tendency to be attached to you than to their father for whatever reason. With the Four of Cups there will be a karmic component to it. Uh, your child will somehow simply be unable to connect with the vision, with the mentality, with the mindset of their father is what I'm sensing. Especially because for some of you, uh, their father or your husband or uh, donor, however, may be a very workaholic personality with the, uh, this devil card. Uh, and I'm getting that this will create a chain of events in the life of a father which your child will just be unable to connect to with the page of pentacles reversed. So uh, I'm not getting getting like bad relationship with the father, however, a peculiar relationship with uh, their father. So that's definitely something uh, that's kind of popping up here. We do have Hierophant, so I'm getting whatever is your belief system, this child of yours will uh, kind of tend to uh, soak it and to reflect that to the world as well. I do have strong um, indication that your child will be a fixed sign, so uh, potentially Taurus or Scorpio uh, here present. And I'm also getting like keen interest for astronomy with them uh, for whatever reason. 
like from early age they may want to to buy them a telescope or uh, they would want like encyc encyclopedias about space etc etc so uh, I'm also visualizing a child who has like memorized specific features about telescopes or uh, I don't know important dates, years etc uh, when certain rockets were launched um, so yeah there's definitely that energy strongly present here I'm getting more uh, a masculine energy from this pile so your child is likely to be a boy in a way you do have nerd node in 8th house uh, Rahu uh, which is here in a way and Rahu here does represent karmic influences especially um, when it comes to for example what they learn about money from you and their their father so there will be something very important that you instill with them uh, from early age I'm getting that you will teach them to appreciate money uh, even though you guys will be pretty well off with the page of pentacles reverse it's like uh, your child won't have everything served uh, on their plate or something like that uh, so it's almost like they will know the value of the dollar uh, or you will make them earn for their first bigger purchase like I don't know PS5 or uh, something that equals that uh, when they mature uh, we we have Gemini in uh, 8th house so I definitely feel like this per this child will have like also a keen interest when it comes to psychology a very curious mind when it comes to psychology matters they may be able to explain, explain the attachment styles early on or um, various psychological theories for whichever reason because Gemini is a very restless, curious energy uh, pertaining to house of psychology in this case. So I feel like this child will have a very special bond to older people, to their grandma, grand grandpa. It's almost like it will be a favored grandchild of their uh, grandmother, grandfather, in a way, because they will really have the approach uh, with you guys as parents, in a way. And I'm especially getting this message, if you guys, let's say you have a parent that you have a disconnect with, or you guys were just never on the same page or something, this child will be wonderful with that parent, and it's almost like... Uh, they won't even have a pinch of the experience that you had with that parent and it's almost like slightly bittersweet uh, sensation for you I mean you will be glad uh, <clears throat> that the child is having an amazing connection with their grandma and grandpa uh, but still uh, there is this energy hey but if you like this small report give it a little like so that it reaches more people we have uh, Aries, 10th house energy. Yeah, so I just feel like this child will, will be known for some kind of physical interest of theirs. So uh, it's almost like it will be unusual to do something at their age or something like that. They may start some kind of physical activity before it's normally started. Like, I don't know if, if people start... Uh, for example, karate classes at seven, your child will, will somehow, some way, uh, because of the circumstances, start uh, learning them at four or something like that. Uh, and so <clears throat> they will almost have a little bit of element of fame in their school because of this. So definitely that energy is strongly present. Then we do have the moon in um, ninth house. Yeah, so for some reason I feel like it's, there's almost this sensation of your child going away from their father to come and get the fatherly energy from you uh, as their mom or mother figure. So for some reason you will uh, very successfully embody the father figure for them. It's not like father won't be around or anything like that. But it may be, I don't know, for some of you, like uh, gay marriage or uh, you have a donor or uh, just some kind of variation of situation, right? 
but whichever role uh, for a lot of you guys, whichever role you uh, embody for this child, it's almost like you will do it perfectly. Uh, and it, it will somehow be your preferred role or uh, maybe you are also the type of a woman who was interested in sports and so you will be able to uh, bond with your child uh, during such type of activities or something something like that. So we have Rahu in 7th house. I'm getting this child of yours will be a lover boy, lover girl. It's almost like they will start dating early on. Uh, already uh, when they are 14, 15 years old, they will have a boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, something like that. Uh, so that's definitely something to consider. Uh, and I feel like uh, they will be great in this role. This is just something that soul wants uh, for that lifetime of theirs. They will have, have a lot of romance during their lifetime. Uh, because it's almost like... Uh, Rahu brings this explosion energy to 7th house of partnership, so definitely some correlation strongly is indicated there. Then we also have the Jupiter in Aquarius energy. Um, yeah, and I just feel like with this one, your child will have many friends, three of cups is here, but it's almost like a uh, non-mainstream type of friends or the type of friends that people around them wouldn't expect uh, them to hang out with. I don't know, there'll just be some kind of variety uh, with their friends. I'm getting they'll have the friends from different cultural uh, backgrounds, religions, etc. etc. Um, there's not really a lot of discrimination uh, in their friends' uh, cir circle. And it's, it's almost as if you, this is something that you will instill uh, within your child while their father or father figure, true father figure, will be more selective about the company that they keep or will be slightly more specific about whom they will and whom they will not indulge. Uh, however, your child will be going after you when it comes to that. Um, so... I'm not saying that anybody's husband figure would be a racist or uh, that they will discriminate in any kind of a mean way, uh, but they may have tendency to mingle more with specific groups of people. So that's another thing that your child won't be able to uh, particularly bond with or relate uh, to when it comes to their father or... Um, that type of figure in their life in a way so I do feel like in many ways your child will be kind of late bloomer uh, and it's almost like they will be doing things in this slow way there will be something slow about the way they deal with life uh, <laughs> and I feel like sometimes they may be getting on your nerves or something like that However, for the most part, uh, you will really appreciate this quality later on because they will possess that slowness, that uh, measured sense when they are doing really, uh, how do I say, risky things or uh, I'm even getting someone's child becoming the future surgeon or something like that. Uh, and so they have to be very precise and slow with their movements. Um, and it's almost some kind of streak that they will carry from their childhood only as, as they start maturing into the right version of themselves will you really acknowledge and uh, appreciate and how do I say acknowledge that it was kind of always there uh, in a way I'm getting your child will have a lot of sneakers many sneakers for whatever reason they will do, always want new sneakers uh, but I'm getting that they will be slightly spoiled so you will pretty much be fulfilling their wishes when it comes to that let's see yeah they will have very quick mind uh, in a way and I'm getting that they would love uh, for whatever reason to go to church, to mosque, to uh, whichever would be the religious institution and they will somehow have 
contact with that even if you don't have personally for example their aunt their aunt or grandma grandpa may be religious and they make that make they take them to sunday a mass or to the mosque or something like that uh, <clears throat> and your child will actually be truly enjoying this in a way and they will love the ritualistic side of things is what i'm sensing and they will be very neat and clean and particular and perfectionistic about their room is what I'm sensing about their private space everything will have to have the have it its own space uh, for them to keep uh, their stuff there like they will always know where everything is like where uh, the wanted sneakers are where uh, the needed book is etc etc so we definitely have a lot of interesting energy pertaining that I'm also getting for a lot of you, your child will have some kind of a crazy hair, like it may be afro or, uh, I don't know, there was something uh, curlish or elevated be going on with their hair in a way. So, yeah, but I feel like we can conclude it here uh, for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did or if you feel drawn, maybe pick another one as well for another child. Uh, or for more info about the first one. Uh, yeah, but thank you for this. Bye bye. So, for those who chose this, just see about your future child So I'm sensing for a lot of you, your kiddo will have some kind of strange juxtaposition between shyness and uh, some kind of excitable curiosity. It's almost as if uh, when you guys first enter the room and there's a lot, many people uh, there, like seven to eight people, they will kind of be shy, they will be hiding behind your uh, thighs, right behind you, and then after three to four minute, uh, minutes have passed, uh, already they are sitting on somebody's lap, they are asking them, and what's your name, etc., etc., and what's your hobby, do you have any pet? Um, <laughs> yeah, so your child will be very endearing when it comes to this. They may grow, grow up to be a bisexual, I'm getting that, because I'm, sen I'm sensing some dualities more than one uh, with them, but with the Mercury in uh, fifth house, I'm getting that your child would ha will have a very entertaining element. It's almost like uh, from early age, uh, everybody would be watching them performing something. And they will get some kind of literal stage eventually. They will be a performer. So actor, uh, singer, dancer, something like that. We also have the Leo in uh, fourth house. So basically what this tells me is that uh, your child will be uh, thoroughly convinced that you as their mother or mom figure uh, are a literal queen or an empress. So uh, yeah, it, they will have you so high on the pedestal uh, and it's almost like it will be a small shock to this child when they uh, realize that you are not...
that you are not uh, ruling over the world basically so uh, definitely powerful element correlated to that in this one we do have ten of swords reversed and a tree of swords here energy so one thing I am getting that with this one is that your child will first of all have many pets they will kind of always be followed by animals by pets somehow some way and uh, they will be extremely hypersensitive to them and any events pertaining uh, their pets they will literally be like this boy nourishing this little prince nourishing his rose um, and they will be very mournful when one of their pet uh, passes away or something like that. So you will have to uh, <clears throat> bombard them with some kind of very philosophical approach in order for them to understand the death or the death of the loved beings in a way. So definitely strong energy uh, present is related to that. We have cancer in... Um, nine house so this child it's almost like unlike in first pile so you may have like two children and you chose the first pile for one child second for the second one um, but there's almost like contrast because in the first pile a uh, child was kind of disconnected with their father or father figure however in this one they will be literally always on their father father's lap in a way uh, and on the lap of their uncles if they have like uncles or like father figures they can be your brothers or they can be brothers of your person uh, or cousins or such type of a figure and I'm getting like your child will learn very much so to be very touchy-feely from the early age and this is something that they will get from their father figure so their father figure will be a very touchy per touchy feely person so somebody very much so used to hugs to human worn to uh, physical expression uh, of affection and sensations among people in a way so definitely strong energy pertaining that there's an indication of an astrologer. So I'm getting for a lot of you, you will go to an astrologer and they will tell you some literal truths uh, about this child before uh, it is born in a way, before he or she is born. Um, and it's almost like you will be amazed about the predicted things uh, once, it, once it starts unfolding in the life uh, of your child in a way. So... And I'm getting like astrologer will be like, does your child have a mole behind their backside of the knee? That's the wound from their past life or um, something like that. There will be some kind of, uh, how do I say, powerful correlation with the words that they said uh, and how your child turns out to be in a way. We have Venus in tour, so your child will really be loved. Uh, by women in their family, so their aunts, their sister, if it uh, has one, uh, their mom, which will be you, their grandma, etc., etc. Uh, and there will be a very hedonistic vibe with the women from your family. So literally, women around you will will be fulfilling every wish and every desire of your child. So even if you, I don't know. Uh, even if you don't give them something, if you don't buy them something, if you don't allow them to have an ice cream at 9 p.m., uh, they'll have, they'll still find a way to indulge that ice cream. Or <laughs> grandma would be taking them to a nearby, uh, I don't know, bakery or something like that. They will always have these instances where uh, women from your family would be spoiling. Uh, this child is what I'm sensing in a way. Let's see what else we have. We have Saturn in second house. Your child will have some distinctive Capricornian traits. So I'm getting that they will have uh, some small savings even early on. So uh, 
and this would be something that's transferred either from you or from their father so definitely that uh, energy is strongly uh, present we also have mars in uh, virgo here so i am sensing that somehow um you will teach your child to have healthy routines uh, from their earliest stage so and i'm uh, almost getting that your child would want to follow your footsteps basically so if you they go to buy weekly jogs they will also go to buy weekly jogs uh, they'll start with you and then they will uh, follow with it for their own life or something like that mm. And I'm getting that this child will have this gift of writing, especially if some of you also have that gift. It's definitely something that they would be inheriting. Um, there will be some disconnect with their age and the way that they want to look like or dress like. So you'll almost be like... Uh, Oh my God, my child is five, why does he want this uh, business casual looking outfit or something like that? Um, but I'm getting that it will be very cute and very uh, endearing uh, when it comes to your little person. When they start embodying these traits is what I'm sensing. So I'm definitely getting like your child will, will love uh, those formal looking coats. Uh, in a way and like bow ties etc etc so definitely that energy is strongly present hey but if you like this small report give it a little like so that it reaches more people your child will have an air of unpredictability uh, about them and a naughty side I'm getting that there will be certain instances when you will, would be called in by a teacher or something like that. Um, but then whenever that happens, your child has a perfectly logical reason about why they did something or uh, why they felt the sudden need to go and climb onto one of the windows in the classroom or something like that. Uh, and when they explain you why they did it, you will be amazed because there will not actually be anything to, uh, I would say, correct them on, uh, literally. So definitely that energy uh, is strongly present. I'm also getting like they will attain easy connections with the other children. They will be a popular child. They won't be bu bullied in any way, shape or form. Uh, this is one of the rare um, situation where I see that schooling will be a uh, schooling period will really be their highlight uh, in a way. Uh, I'm getting that your child will have a really good start in life, so none if any uh, childhood traumas, etc, etc. So <clears throat> he or she will be a very vital, very serene and zen. A little boy or a girl and I'm getting that uh, they will want to attempt to do meditation with you early on so you two would be sitting in a lotus uh, position uh, when they are five or something like that <clears throat> and it's almost like early on uh, you would be having these conversations with uh, him or her about have you meditated today? Yes, I have. Uh, I was sitting for a whole minute or something like that. And then you would be proud of their small accomplishments with the meditation early on or something like that. So I'm getting like your child will draw to love perfumes. And even as a child... Uh, especially if you are this very Venusian type of a woman or if you feel like you could match with one uh, that's also possible, your child will always be uh, at their mother figure's, uh, how do I say, place for perfumes, right? So I'm just visualizing like 10 to 20 perfumes and your child being obsessed by it. 
So, especially for those of you who have a correlation with sense yourself, uh, for whatever reason, I am sensing that energy is strong. I'm getting also singing talent in this one, uh, singing and playing piano for some reason, definitely. And I'm getting your child may love to watch love soaps and may get really invested in them uh, still as a child, I don't know. Uh, they will be all like, why is he doing this to her? Uh, how doesn't he get that she is the one for him or something like that? So it will be a very laughable uh, instance when they start acting like that. But you will love it, you will cherish it is what I'm sensing. So let's see. I'm getting if they are a girl they may like to sport shorter hair. You will support them in whatever choice they want. Um, but it will be like... Uh, cool, shorter hair, something uh, something that's really kind of outstanding as means of their haircut. Yeah, but I feel like I'm going to complete it here uh, for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did and feel inclined to listen to one more pile, you can do so. And uh, see you in the next reading. Bye-bye. Thank you for this. So for those who chose this hand man, Let's see how will your future child be. So one thing that I'm getting in this one, I do have Mercury in 7th house, so your future child will be a real beautiful cookie, like uh, from early age, they would, they would resemble both you and their father is what I'm getting, uh, or whoever is the father figure, right, there's, there's all kinds of families out there. Uh, so that's something that's definitely standing out, like, as soon as I saw uh, this, in a way. I'm getting that they would always prefer to dress very in a very vibrant way, like, uh, they would always be looking colorful. Um, and I'm getting that they would love uh, coloring when they are uh, very little, like kindergarten years, and there's something about their kindergarten phase. Uh, they will be especially cute then um, everybody would be saying that they are such a cute child we have uh, Venus in uh, third house they would be uh, very much bonded to their uh, younger sibling if they have one and also to their father and uh, father's relatives to be precise so whoever is on their father's side they will they will literally be like favorite people of this child in a way. Um, 
because I am sensing that there will be some kind of uh, karmic bond with the father side, so side of a family in a way. Uh, let's see what else do we have. There's six of cups reverse and king of sword. I'm getting that they your child will will learn uh, to read and count uh, very early. Uh, like way early than it is expected and they will be very good at math and physics later on is what I'm getting for some so there's definitely this idea that you should instill uh, this hunger in them for uh, solving equations etc etc because they will have this quick energizer mind uh, they will be good with numbers. I'm getting that they will embody a lot of personality of their favorite professor or teacher in their school. So be very receptive about what they say about their favorite teacher. Uh, like the things this person is telling them. How do they look? Uh, what are their other potential interests outside of that work? Uh, as well, uh, we do have a moon in uh, 10 house, so I'm definitely that this child will have some kind of prominent career, uh, they will attain some kind of fame uh, during their lifetime in a way. Uh, let's see what else. We do have Venus in Sagittarius, yeah, so something that I'm definitely getting with this energy that uh, when it comes to let me just see. When it comes to important women in their life, your child will be, how do I say, they'll grow up to have very uh, unorthodox viewpoints when it comes to women, uh, like very open-minded view viewpoints. If this is a boy, he won't have a, a pinch of patriarchy, uh, but he will still, I'm that, getting that even with this King of uh, Cups energy, but I'm getting... Uh, that he will still have that masculine presence. This is most likely a boy uh, energy in this one. Uh, similarly, like with the first pile, especially if you were drawn to that one as well, you may feel inclined to listen. Um, yeah, yeah, but there will just be something very gender progressive, if that makes sense, uh, when it comes to your child and their opinions and, and viewpoints. It's almost like they will understand that there's multiple genders and then how it, how everything operates and how some people... <coughs> I'm getting that you would be one of those families that is able to explain that to your child without creating some kind of negative... Uh, um, negative, how do I say, programming pertaining people who are in any kind of minority, so definitely that energy is strongly present. We do have moon in Aries, so this child would be getting a lot of your energy, so especially if you feel like you're a hyperactive person, somebody who is very energized, uh, I'm getting that they would get, get a lot of vital energy from their mom or from their mother figure. Or it doesn't have to be you, it can be your partner, depending who <coughs> who has the role of mother figure, etc, uh, etc. Et so, we do have South Node in the 12th house. Somehow, some way, karmic periods and dashes uh, in the life of your child will align that during their li lifetime they won't see... Uh, periods of their bad uh, planets or like uh, periods that should deliver negative karma etc etc it's almost somehow they are salvaged from that it won't happen during their lifetime that, that they have a period of extremely negative planet or something so yeah I do feel like Especially from, for those of you who stem from like traumatized families, families that had to cope with uh, alcoholism, PTSD, addictions, violence of all kinds. Uh, your child would be basically not knowing 
uh, that 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 something like that can exist uh, if you don't highlight it very specifically to them. So you will create this very safe haven, uh, and they will be slightly growing in a golden cage, uh, right? Um, but still, because I'm getting that both you and your partner will be very protective over this child. Uh, nobody uh, touches your kiddo, etc., etc. Uh, so your child will grow in a very specific conditions uh, and I'm especially getting this for those of you who had some kind of unhappy events transpire in your past so uh, there's definitely energy strongly related pertaining that hey but if you like this small report give it a small like so that it reach you more people well I'm getting that uh, if this is a boy, he may have like a man bun, like early on, he may have a slightly longer hair, uh, slightly edgier uh, outfit or something like that. He may, you may uh, make him sport Converse or Vans or, I don't know, such type of brands. Uh, so your boy would be looking slightly more on the alternative side. Uh, and if this is a girl, she will have some kind of a cute undercut uh, haircut, is what I'm sensing. So there will be a lot of coolness about your child, about your children. Let's see, what else do we have? Or your child will be uh, severely addicted to gaming. You will have to manage this, you will have to determine their hours, when they are allowed to play, when they have to absolutely stop, etc, etc. Uh, your child will be slightly grumpy that they have to have some discipline in their uh, safe haven lives, um, but still uh, I'm getting that it will be needed and essential for their development that you de deprive them from some things in order for them to appreciate the right set of things or in order for them to appreciate kind of human touch, human closeness, human exchange, right? So uh, your child will know uh, to turn off all the devices once uh, grandma or grandpa come in or once their uncle is, is uh, in the house or something like that. So, let's see what else are we getting from this one. I'm definitely getting that your child will have some kind of more ancient talent, like they may be good at knitting or uh, sewing for some of you it's almost like there will be something traditional that they will learn uh, and it will be very important to some of you either you or your partner and then your child will turn out to be a mega talent for this thing so uh, it may start everything may st start with sewing and then in the end they may be clothing designer or something like that so it will really I'm getting that some kind of ancient or traditional talent of their will uh, initiate, uh, how do I say, some 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 kind of really Venusian lucrative ca career later on in a way. So, but it's almost like something that you wouldn't suspect would lead to something like that. So, I'm getting that you are invited to. Uh, motivate them to explore their nerdy or quirky uh, interests and passions. I'm also getting mature and singing for whatever reason. Um, so there's definitely that energy strongly present. I'm getting that for a lot of you, your child will slightly be jack of many traits. Are getting like duplicity when it comes to their school so they'll definitely either have two high schools uh, where they wanted to attend for example simultaneously musical one and I don't know language school or something like that and you taught them that it's okay uh, as long as they can you know keep their keep their grades solid or something like that 
so or it will be to colleges later on uh, and I'm getting that this is also inherited somehow either you or uh, your partner will have like two schools two vocations two colleges uh, you will be by capable uh, in a way is what I'm sensing so let's see what else uh, do we have I'm getting that for some of you, your child may require some kind of specific diet, uh, like they may, may have an allergy, allergy for something, or um, they'll have some kind of regime which requires that they get the exact amount of proteins, uh, etc., etc., but you would be very dedicated and very nourishing about providing them with this, is what I'm sensing. Uh, your child will have a peculiar sense of being thankful for this even uh, as a young child. It's almost like uh, I'm getting this young child coming to you and hugging you and tell, telling you like uh, thank you for this great lunch mom or something like that. Just something very way more serious than children normally do, right? So. Uh, children don't normally thank their mom, their dad uh, for their lunch or for the things they uh, buy them, etc. And they will really cherish the things uh, that you buy them, is what I'm getting. Mm. When I'm getting for somebody, you could be like a uh, Caucasian, Caucasian woman <clears throat> and your partner would be like a black man and your child would be mixed race uh, and they will have really beautiful element to their skin uh, because of that is what I'm sensing like the best of uh, all world like beautiful features so and also something about their proportions uh, the best of the white people the best of the black people somehow some way um so i'm getting i'm also getting like uh somebody's child may have like latino uh father or something like that so they will have that blood um and there will be an air of beauty regarding that so let me see what else do we or like father from an island uh I'm getting like Philippines or Hawaii or something like that. So let's see, do we have anything else peculiar in this one? I just feel like your child will be very vocal uh, from their early age. Like if they can do something or if they can't obey you on, on something, they will be perfectly logical about why they can't. For example, no, I can't do it today, mom, today is the morning day because yesterday I got the D or something like that. Uh, but they will be very serious and serene and sincere about that, so you will respect them on their uh, morning hours, etc., etc., or on their rest hours. I'm almost getting that this child will have some kind of a hobby or a sport which will require um, that they rest in a very specific manner or at specific hours or <coughs> before, like training sessions, etc., etc. So, yeah, but let's uh, just see about the sign. They could be Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Leo. Some Aries and Taurus energy as well is here. Uh, yeah, but I feel like I'm going to conclude it here for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.